we have reached the third round of match play here at the Pro Series Kids Pros Doubles Tournament at Leo Super Bowl in Amesbury, Massachusetts. In this round, the team of Brianna Smith and Rob Taylor will be facing Aaron Fontaine and Stephen Reno Jr., while on the other pair, Michael McGinty and Tim Hazard will be facing Sonia Richard and Dave Godwin. This is the quarterfinal round of this tournament. And Sonia Richard getting it right underway on lane 20. Starts with a nine drop. And she makes that spare, converts that seven pin for a spare to begin. Meanwhile, Aaron Fontaine over on lane 18 is looking at a spare leave, and he converts that. Aaron balls out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield, and he's probably better known, as, best known as the grandson of the great Tom Olsta. Aaron and his younger brother, Nate Fontaine, made the uh, presentation when Tom was inducted into the ICBA Hall of Fame earlier this this year. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. The ICBA Hall of Fame dinner is always a, a great evening. Sonia Richard, after punching out a half Worcester on the spare, almost converted it. But she'll take a 10. And there's a strike by Aaron Fontaine. Taking a look in slow motion, very solid 1-3 pocket hit. And it takes a while for that 8-pin to go, but it goes down, so that's a strike in the second box. And Brianna Smith with a tough break there. She had the 5-7 and a piece of wood that looked somewhat promising, like it should have a chance to cover the 5 and or the 7, but it didn't take either one. It just went right between the two. So she'll take a 9 in the second box. Michael McGinty had a strike in the third box, as you saw. He has had some outstanding appearances on the Candlepin New Generation show. Can really put up some big scores on occasion. As can uh, most of these kids. They really, uh, there's really no, not much difference between the kids and the pros in terms of the scoring potential, as you've seen in these matches. Aaron Fontaine with a four drop. He's got another ball to complete the strike fill. And he puts spare on strike. That was a, uh, a difficult conversion, that, that four drop. Meanwhile, also a nice shot by Brianna Smith to convert that seven eight with the wood. And looking at it in slow motion, she plays the wood to perfection right there. Kicks it off the wall. And the ball takes out the eight with the wood covering the seven, so that's a spare in the third box. Aaron Fontaine working on that spare. And he has the same leave that he just had, that uh, four drop taking out the two, four, seven, eight, and this time he has no wood. And he makes it again. That is... Uh, Pretty tough to do. That's a very, very difficult lead. And he just converted it twice in a row. And in the meantime, Sonia Richard and Michael McGinty have quickly finished their first half and are turning the stage over to Tim Hazard and Dave Godwin. Aaron Fontaine with a seven drop on that fourth consecutive mark that he had, speaking of quickly. So he's looking at the two, 
five and seven. He's got a terrific first half going. Worthy of uh, his grandfather, you might say. Tom Olsta. Pretty much the consensus pick for the greatest bowler of the, uh, the modern era. Certainly the greatest one I've seen. And Aaron Fontaine doesn't make his fifth mark in a row, but he does finish with an 82 half. <clears throat> so you can see right there, 82 for Aaron and 51 for Brianna Smith. So Rob Taylor finds himself at the bottom of, of a pretty steep hill, but uh, it's still early. And you can see Michael McGinty, 53, and Sonia Richard, 49. So that one's a close one in the early going. <coughs> now you're looking at Stephen Reno Jr. on lane 18. Stephen also had an outstanding career on the on the kids show, Candlepin for Kids, later renamed Candlepin New Generation, and since then has gone on to some pretty good accomplishments on the Pro Series and, and uh, the World's Invitational Team Tournament. He went to the finals in the singles a couple of, a few years ago as well. And there is a spare by Tim Hazard in the second box. Rob Taylor, you'll recall, had a, uh, I think he had a 140 game in that first round win that, that his, he and Brianna had that went right down to the wire. Dave Godwin with a uh, tough break there on that 1-7. Looked like either the ball or the head pin was going to cover the 7, especially with that piece of wood in front of it, but nothing touched it. So that'll, he'll take a 10 box in the third. And there's a strike by Rob Taylor on lane 17. Very high 1-2 pocket hit. While Steven Reno Jr., Makes a nice try on that four drop. Doesn't quite cover it. Here's a look at the strike by Rob. Very high in the one-two pocket. The six and the seven were the last two pins to go. So that's a strike in the third. And badly needed since they're down a pretty good margin right now in the early going. And speaking of strikes, here, this, is, uh, this is one by Dave Godwin right there in the fourth frame. He's got 39 plus the strike fail through four. Is that going to be a strike for Steven Reno? Not quite. Can't quite get that four pin to go. But he'll have a clean shot at it. And he's got it. Spare in the fourth for Steven Reno Jr. Rob Taylor trying to put spare on strike, not quite able to cover the seven pin. <coughs> And he will have 45 through the fourth. He's 45 versus Steven Reno with 37 plus a ball. Dave Godwin with another strike in the fifth. So he will sit down on a double strike. He has 29 through the third and then strikes in the fourth and fifth. Dave is very capable of throwing a lot of strikes as you well know. He had, if I'm not mistaken, he had a 221 game up at Halifax, Nova Scotia a few years ago. In the, the World's Tournament. I'm not sure if that was in the singles or the team event. In the, the left side match, you can see Aaron Fontaine and Stephen Reno Jr. are leading by 31, as uh, 
Stephen and Rob tied at 53, so that, that margin that Aaron Fontaine generated is, uh, is still the same halfway through the match. And over here, Sonia Richard and Dave Godwin lead by two pins, but it's going to be a lot more than that because Dave Godwin has still has those two strikes to fill. So right as, as of right now, it's a two-pin lead, but that'll be extended when Dave comes back up. So Aaron and Brianna are back on lane 17 and 18, while Sonia and Michael take the stage on 19 and 20. And Sonia and Michael both throw the ball right in the pocket, 1-2 and 1-3, but they both got very difficult splits. Sonia is looking at a 7-9, and Michael almost converted that 8-10. He gave it a good bid, but the ball didn't quite fly out of the pit. And an excellent try there by Sonia Richard on that 7-9. The wood actually went right in front of the seven pin. Aaron Fontaine with a spare on the left lane. He will fill it with Six, but he has a very difficult combination there. He's got five, six, seven, and ten with a piece of wood that might help. And there's a great shot by Sonia Richard on lane 19 to cover that six, eight, ten, utilizing a piece of wood to cover the eight. Nice bid by Aaron Fontaine there. It was uh, pretty difficult to cover all four of those pins. And he did well to get the wood to go over and try to get the seven, but it didn't quite cover it. Sonia Richard with a nine drop on that spare. Here's another look at the spare that she made moments ago. You can see that was a nice hit on the six pin, and the ball flipped that piece of wood over into the eight pin. And she just skids by that two pin. It's kind of unfortunate that she had a, a piece of wood to use a little bit further to the left. And there you see it right there. That was the uh, what she was looking to do. That'll be a 10. And Sonia Richard has 87 through the third. Michael McGinty with 82. Aaron Fontaine with a spare in the eighth. Aaron has one eighteen with a ball to throw in the eighth. And he throws kind of a pitch out there, just two taking out the 6-10. So he'll have some work to do to work this one out. And that didn't take long, did it? He just stuffed it right in the 1-2 pocket for another spare. That gives Aaron 130 plus a ball through the ninth. 130 plus the fill. on the spare, but again, he's got a almost impossible split here, four, six, seven, ten. And Brianna Smith with a, a great bid on that six drop, and she, you can see she's just a little frustrated there because she did what she had to do there, but the eight pin wouldn't go. I think it slid over a little bit, but it stayed up, and now it's gone, but that's a uh, just a ten box, and that'll be a 94 string, and meanwhile... Aaron Fontaine will be filling out the uh, score. And that's going to be a seven box because the second ball 
uh, hit the piece of wood in the gutter. So, nonetheless, that's a 143 game for Aaron Fontaine. So, his team right now has a 49-pin lead with as uh, Brianna and Aaron turn it back over to Rob Taylor and Steve Arino. And in the other match, <clears throat> Sonia Richard and Dave Godwin lead by 10, but again, Dave Godwin has those uh, two strikes in the fourth and fifth still to fill. So he will be filling those on lane 19. As Tim Hazard is on lane 20. Dave with a nice ball in the one-two pocket, a little bit high, but he drops eight, leaving the six ten. So that gives him 57 through the fourth completed frame. And he completes the fifth frame with a spare on strike. 77 half. And now 87 with a ball. Rob Taylor with a badly needed spare in the sixth. In order to make up 49 pins, it's going to take a lot of work. But that spare is a good start. Tim Hazer with a nice solid 1-3 pocket hit, dropping 9. And Dave Godwin with a strike. Wow. That's three strikes in four boxes. And that one did not take long to go. Even Reno Jr. with a strike in the seventh. As we look at the slow motion on Dave Godwin, that's kind of a mixer, combination mixer wall shot. And that really went out of there in a hurry off that one-two pocket hit. And this one by Stephen Reno Jr. is much higher in the one-two pocket. And you can see that he trips the six pin off the wall. <clears throat> Dave Godwin with another strike. Wow. That one was awfully quick as well. Another wall shot. This time in the 1-3 pocket taking out well taking everything out. The 5 and 7 were the last to go. That was uh, another really fast one. So Dave after having strikes in the 4th and 5th and then slipping up with only a spare in the 6th he has strikes in the seventh and eighth. Dave Godwin in the ninth. And that is one more strike in the ninth frame. That's a triple strike. And that's five strikes in his last six boxes. This one is kind of a light hit. And he gets some sidewall action there. So that's a little bit of a cheapo compared to the other uh, several that he's had there. But uh, nonetheless, that didn't take long to go either. And that is three strikes in a row and five out of six uh, for Dave Godwin. You, you can see the score here. One twenty-seven through the seventh and then strikes in the eighth and ninth to fill. So that's uh, a lot of pins piling up in a hurry. And there's no doubt at this point that Sonia Richard and Dave Godwin will be advancing to the next round, but the, uh, the drama here concerns exactly how high Dave Godwin is going to be able to go. Three strikes in a row, and on the, uh, on the old Channel 5 show, he would have had quite a bit of bonus money by now. Oh, and just a half Worcester. Very disappointing. The crowd's kind of giving it to him a little bit because uh, 
they were hoping for another strike. But nonetheless, uh, Davis still uh, has another ball to fill on that strike in the ninth. And he makes a good try at, on that uh, on the half Worcester. He will have one more ball to finish up and then we'll show you the final score. That will be a nine box, giving him a 176. So both of these matches are are going to be complete now with the exception of just a fill ball for Rob Taylor. Who will be bowing out to Aaron Fontaine and Stephen Reno Jr. We'll show you the score there. Aaron and Stephen defeating Brianna Smith and Rob Taylor in this match. And you can see Aaron Fontaine with that 143 game with the 111 by Stephen Reno for 254 against Brianna and Rob's 201. So Aaron and Stephen will move on to the semifinals here at the Kids Pros. And in the other match, Dave Godwin with that 176 game. So Dave and Sonia will move on to the next round.